guys, it's Gwen. Um, today's video is actually going to be about rulers and why rulers are actually the spawn of, um, of the devil. So, here's my drawing today. This is to compare my drawing when it is with ruler and then when it isn't. This one right here is obviously when I didn't use a ruler. And this one here is where I did use a ruler. Now, I want you all to know that rulers are only okay if you're measuring things. And the reason that rulers are, um, are children of the devil is because, um, well, they really just block your creativity. I mean, look at how much better this one looks and how it really shows me as a person. Well, this one really just, um, it's really bland and boring. Now, um... Other evidence to show that rulers are from the devil is, um, like in Catholic schools, um, the ladies, they would hit, they would hit children with rulers to, um, when they were being bad, and that would put, um, a little bit of the devil inside the children. Okay, guys, next I'm going to show you, um, how to cleanse your hands if you've been using rulers. Alright, guys, so this is going to be how we get the, um, the ruler residue off your hands. So you're going to need uh, a fourth cup of vinegar, a piece of bread, and sugar. So you take the vinegar and you just wash that on your hands. Now um, I use vinegar because um, vinegar is used in Easter eggs for, um, and Easter is all about Jesus. So now you take your bread and you um, wash your hands, wipe your hands off with that. And um, all the bread is going to um, absorb all the vinegar. Now you wipe, wash your hands off, and then I like to put some sugar on my hands because um, it tastes really good if you want to lick it off. Uh, but you don't have to do this part. Um, and then you take, you rinse them off again. And then you just get soap and you wash them like you would normally.